Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. It's first, it's time for quick Disney Plus news update. I'm going to be talking about how many subscribers Disney Plus has, what's new on Disney Plus today, and much more. But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Yesterday, Disney released its quarterly results and they had an investors call. Now this is something that they do every three months and at this point we always find out how many subscribers Disney Plus has around the world. So on the data that they've revealed, which is up to the 2nd of April 2022, globally there's 137.7 million subscribers. The US and Canada, there's 44.4 million subscribers. Internationally, excluding obviously the US, Canada and Disney Plus Hotstar, there's 43.2 million subscribers. Combined Disney Plus without Hotstar, there is now 87.6 million. And on Disney Plus Hotstar, there is now 50.1 million subscribers. Meanwhile, ESPN Plus has 22.3 million subscribers in the US, and Hulu has 45.6 million subscribers. So overall, Disney has added just under 8 million subscribers globally in the last quarter, which obviously is great news, and we're going to see a continuation of those numbers growing, especially over the next few months where it's launching in over 40 countries. So that's really going to give it a boost. They are still planning on hitting between 230 and 260 million subscribers by 2024, which, yeah, it's just insane numbers, and that's all just for Disney+. Plus. Um, yeah, so they are really kind of going all in on this one. Um, stock price went kind of okay, went up and down a little bit, depending on this news, because they were down a little bit in terms of money, but generally there wasn't a lot of big news coming out of this event. Sometimes with these quarterly results, they kind of send out a few press releases to try and boost up the numbers, just didn't do anything this time. It was a very quiet one. There was some discussion about ESPN Plus and they're going to be kind of pushing forward on more sports. We did find out during the Q&A session of the Investors Call that Disney Plus is creating over 500 originals internationally which doesn't come out of the US. Christine McCarthy, who is Disney's Senior Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer, revealed some new details where we got a little bit of a breakdown of how many of these new originals are being created in each region. In Asia-Pacific region, including including the Southeast Asia, there's over 140 in production. In Europe, the Middle East and Africa, there's over 150 originals currently in production. In India, there's 100, and in Latin America, there's over 200. Now you're gonna think that's 500, oh, apparently over 300 are set to be released next year. They've got about 180 planned for this financial year. That's a lot. Um, hopefully most of these are going to be released on Disney Plus all over the place. We are really starting to see this happening and it's kind of revving things up. Not everything yet it seems to be releasing everywhere. We're still kind of all over the place. But things do look to be improving. I think we're going to see a lot more international originals on Disney Plus. And there's some great ones out there. It's definitely worth checking out. Um, it's definitely a, something that we've not really seen Disney kind of utilise before. But this is great news, I think, for us for in terms of content. As I said, nothing really too interesting came out of this financial results. Um, normally there's something. This one was probably the, one of the most dullest ones we've had so far. I suspect the reason for that... This is going to be an upfront event next week where they're talking all about advertising and new shows and stuff. If they're going to announce details about the pricing and stuff with regards to the ad tier, that is when they're going to do it because it's much more focused on content and advertisers next week. Um, so yeah, so I suspect that's probably why they didn't announce anything to, um, yesterday, but nevertheless, it was a little bit quiet. Moving on from there, it has been confirmed by Deadline that National Geographic has greenlit a second season of Lost Cities with Albert Lim. It's going to have its budget increased, and we don't yet know if it's going to be released as a Disney Plus original, or if it will be going to National Geographic channels. Um, yeah, so we'll be probably finding out a little bit more about that yet. We don't know where he's going to be going or when it'll be coming out, but production is currently underway, so that one's pretty cool. I really enjoyed that first series, so looking forward to this one. And finally, since it's Thursday, that means we've got some new content arriving on Disney Plus around the world. We've got a new episode of The Kardashians. It's available on Hulu in the United States and on Star Plus in Latin America and on Disney Plus everywhere else. I'm going to be honest, this is my guilty pleasure. Um, I, I enjoyed this week's episode. Uh, me and my wife watched it last night. Um, yeah, this is just great stuff. I, I, I really like it. It's, it's really, I probably shouldn't. But it's just something very different, and it's like I said, something that me and my wife can watch together. And it is, is one of the most popular shows on Disney Plus. I know here in the UK, it is pretty much in the top um, trending part every single day. But also in the UK today, we got um, a new episode of This Is Us from the sixth seasons that will be coming to an end pretty soon. But yeah, let me know what you're going to be watching on Disney Plus this weekend. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Remember to go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in another video. Later.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. Also, a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships. And I shall see you guys in another video. Laters.